And O'Neal will face Wolf in our second semi, but we begin with Robert Smith versus Mike Scroggins. Robert Smith will start us off. Recently moved just outside of Columbus, Ohio. Been a tour member since 1998. Maximum Bob fighting some back issues and hip issues. But this is a, a format that was really kind of catered with him in mind. That is not how we expected to start this tournament. No. You're right, Rob. And this ball right here, he gets it down in the downswing just a little bit too quick. You see a very unusual release for him. Chicken wing it a bit. Right through the nose, leaving the 4 6 7. So, an early opening for Mike Scroggins, a guy who, Randy, you think really has a, has a serious advantage today being the sole lefty. I do. He's got the whole left side of the lane to himself. It's an easier pattern. He doesn't have to worry about trying to manipulate the ball to get it to the pocket. It's already there. All he has to do is pry it off his hand. And then hope for some pin carry. Lefty leaves the seven, a native of Amarillo, Texas. Five Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour titles on his resume, and he will clean that up. This is his second televised appearance of the season. He had six last season. strike and we talked about the chance of a 300 game today we talked about all the 300 games that were rolled this week during qualifying but you know Randy when you know high scores are going to be had it does a little something to your psyche doesn't it well it does I mean you, you start thinking that hey the first one that misses in a match is going to to lose and you know with an open frame early the, the good news for Robert Smith is it happened in the first frame he can still strike out to shoot 279 There's that first strike. Take a look at their averages through the week and a high of 268 for Scroggins, Robert Smith, one of many to roll a 300 this week during qualifying for this, the ultimate scoring championship. Smith and we talk every week about the oil condition. It, it, it's similar to, you know, it's similar to, to a golf course, you know, where you know, wet conditions or how's the rough going to be? What's what's the green going to be like? And this is a golf course that's laid out for some some low scores. Yeah, like, low scores for golf, high scores for bowling. Right. I would equate this to like say the Bob Hope Desert Classic, where it takes 2,700 to win. But again, you know, you still have to throw the ball decently. You have to have some pin carry. And I bowled on this oil pattern yesterday. And it's not the easiest oil pattern I've ever bowled on. The players that are on the telecast today said the same thing. Is it easier than what they bowl on on a weekly basis? Absolutely. Is it the easiest thing they've ever competed on? No. And remember, just for comparison's sake, 18 300 games this week, and that's not a record. 24 is the record. So 
So Scroggins has gone spare, strike, spare as we begin the fourth. And we asked him what his initial reaction was when he heard about this format. We'll tell you about that in a second. Yeah. Blows up those 10 pins. He said, well, you know, in his normal, unassuming way, well, it's something different. Thought the pros would eat this alive. I think they could have been easier. I bowled on a lot of house shots that were a lot simpler than this one. You can't just give them the 300 game, Randy. They got to earn it. And I think the only thing that's missing on this oil pattern is just more friction to the outside part of the lane. There's enough oil in the middle, a little more friction out, and... Now you're talking real easy. Well, three in a row for Smith after he began this match with an open frame. And really the key for Robert Smith is to somehow find a way to bowl pain-free. And this has been quite a struggle for him over the last five years with a, a bad hip and back. Just trying to get through it. He's already withdrawn out of two events this season. A little different setup for him as well. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, that's got a push. Rob, 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 come on. That ball is early into the swing, which makes the ball arrive at the foul line too close together with a slide foot. And any time a power player does that, or anybody for that matter, the ball's going to go left. It's not going to project right. It's going left. Man, he gave last rights to that 3-6-10. <laughs> so Scroggins is going spare strike, spare strike. Now his effort in the fifth. Here's how Mike Scroggins qualified. Somehow was able to fight through Mike Edwards in the round of eight. There's his third strike. Mike Scroggins can throw. He can throw a lot of strikes. He averaged 256 for a whole league season in 1999 in Amarillo, Texas. That included 15 800 series. That is not the record. The record, I believe, is held by Jeff Carter at over 260. Scroggins did not bowl a 300 game, though, this week. the seven second time he's done that this match and again these players shouldn't have a problem getting the ball to the pocket it's just going to come down to a matter of pin carry this ball just a little off leaving the week seven so Scroggins Completes the spare in the sixth. Three spares, three strikes for him. He's on top by three over Robert Smith. The Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour on ESPN is brought to you by Lumber Liquidators. Hardwood flooring for less. By GEICO. 15 minutes could save 15% on your car insurance. Visit GEICO.com. By Motel 6, the official lodging partner of the PBA. And by Denny's, where America's favorite breakfast is now available to go. Real breakfast 24-7.